Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side. Now I'm here in Blackpool. I'm on the promenade here. You can see the famous tower behind me there. And look at this behind me. It's all happening here. Guess what? The Starflyer ride is going up right here on the promenade. Check this out. Yeah, so I'm here on Blackpool promenade. And look at this. It's all happening here. It's on a Saturday morning. And look at this now. The Starflyer ride. They've found a site for it right here. I, you know, I had a feeling that this place here would be good. It's next to the Gleis Rink, which is just the other side there. They're putting it up right there where that wagon is there. That's where the, the base of it's going to go. And it's not far from the tower. Look at this, amazing. In fact, this might be a better site altogether. This is Stella in the Cellar Wolf Wolf. She's got her own YouTube channel. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Now then, check this out, yeah. Everything is here set this up uh, there's no crane actually at the moment no crane that will have to arrive if they're gonna put this uh, start putting this tower up but we're putting the base in position at the moment as you can see here it's a bit breezy today maybe about 20 mile an hour wind it's gonna be a bit windier here on Blackpool promenade I'm not sure what the limits are for operating but uh, I know they can take it down fairly quickly if they have to so while they're uh, setting this up this is the main body here at the tower look check this out here I'll just go and check out the uh, the spinny thing which goes round which has all the uh, the chairs on it's on this wagon here as you can see they've come all the way from Holland with this so uh, it was good that they managed to find a site for it at last so I always knew that this might be a possible um, location but look at the size of that those are the arms that extend outwards with the uh, the chairs on can you imagine being flung around on this thing it looks like a rocket doesn't it look at that and now we're looking in here now and you can see they've got all the connections in there the cables everything in there yeah amazing looks absolutely massive and when you look at it close up it looks even bigger than you you think yeah so we're here at the tower and it's a prime position for the Starflyer ride. In fact, I think I said before that this actually might even be a better place for it than before because we're on the promenade here. We're just opposite the spyglass bar there and obviously just over the road from the tower. I mean, really, what better place could you be, really? You know, I mean, St John's Square was a little bit cramped I think really wasn't it and that was one of the reasons why I think uh, they got a bit jumpy about it being there because it is absolutely huge oh they're getting the big legs out now the base is going out they're bringing out the legs it's like a big tripod I suppose they're bringing the legs out here so this is the base of the ride here that they're putting in there's lots of people around obviously they need a lot of people to put a ride up like this but they they can construct it very quickly like you saw the other day they had the ride up in St John's Square in not very long but then of course the council had to stop to tell them to take it down because uh, there's quite a lot of issues really security safety not enough room maybe being too close to the traffic anyway we are now at the glass ring check this out oh this was awesome last night there were so many people on here last night it opened last night this um you'll see it on the next video i think it's the next video after this one 
uh, yeah, the glass rink and all this around here, the winter wonderland. It was absolutely amazing here last night. Yeah, look at this. They're all on this here now, moving this massive uh, leg here for this Starflyer ride. They're going to have to bring a crane in to put the, uh, the tower on. The crane will be coming a bit later on, I'm told. If you look over there towards those lollipops, you see the seed pod thing. You can see the wind is, you can tell there's a bit of a wind. It's obviously a stiff wind here, which might be a problem for operating the ride when it's above a certain speed. I don't know what the operating limits are, but uh, uh, we will see. So there you go, there's the dates here for the glass rink, 19th of November, which was last night until the 3rd of January 2022. Plenty of time to get down to Blackpool and have a go on the glass rink. And uh, you do have to use special skates, I believe, to go on this artificial ice rink. But it's all free. And after you've done that, skating in front of Blackpool Tower, you can then go on the Starfly ride. Quick look at... Uh, the Woolworths building, Albert and the Lion Weatherspoons underneath. They've still got the scaffolding on there, but I think it's starting to come down. They've done the clock. Look at that there. Look, the clock's looking really nice, and it's the right time as well. Look at that. It's almost eight o'clock in the morning. Blackpool's waking up. Here's a quick look on the beach. A few people on the beach already, as you can see. You can even see Snowdonia over there. Can you see that to the right of Central Pier? Just about to see. The mountains of Snowdonia, absolutely amazing. Look at this, can you hear the sea? Listen to that. There is just one thing that I'm thinking about, a little concerned about, is uh, once this ride is set up here, how easy is it going to be for people to get from this side of the promenade to the other side of the ride. I'm just wondering, is there much room there? Or are they going to have to go across the tram tracks? You'll we'll have to see about that. There's a crane there. I think they're looking to find a way in here. Are they? <laughs> they need to get that crane down here. The crane is coming. This is the vehicle which is going to construct the tower of the Starflyer ride. Check this out. previously seen at St John's Square where they constructed the ride earlier and now it's back yeah so the crane's here now and what I'll do is I'll split this video up I'll come back a bit later on when they're starting to connect the tower. 